Hi guys, I'm Nin Bikun and it's my review of Trees a Crowd, episode 11 of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic season 4. If you're interested in watching my blind commentary of the episode, then you can find that through the link in the description. It's a Discord episode, and whether you like him or not, you have to admit that within the show, everyone but Fellowship dislikes him. He has no redeeming qualities, he isn't trustworthy, he isn't aware of his surroundings, he isn't nice, and he isn't even cool. Despite all of this, Discord expects the main five to take care of his illness. He expects Twilight to take care of him, to be exact. He gets rid of the other four because they are just in the way. It tells a lot about him and his relationship with them. I don't know anything about Discord as a person, but I assume that he is not dumb. He knows that Twilight lost the elements of harmony, so she has nothing to defend herself against him. The only thing that stops Discord from destroying Ponyville is the pretended friendships he has with the main five. Yeah, that being reformed thing, not buying it, not for a second. Yes, Discord knows that Twilight hates him, and he knows that she has to pretend that they are friends. When I first watched the episode, I genuinely thought that Discord is so stupid that he thinks that they are friends. Although it was never stated and Twilight never gave any sign of warming up to him. But in the end of the episode, we see that Discord's only goal was to ruin Twilight's and Cadence's day, presumably to weaken their friendship as well as Twilight's magic. I can't believe that Discord honestly thinks that his friendship with Twilight got stronger by the end of the episode. The exact opposite happened. Twilight trusts Discord less than before, and rightfully so. I don't really know what this episode was meant to accomplish, besides building up Discord as the villain for the season finale. Yes, I have this theory. A lot of people say that this episode was just meant to bring some wacky fun times with Discord. And I have to admit, it worked at the train station scene. The main four had funny reactions to Discord jokes, and they were creative. But later on, Twilight's and Cadence's reaction is just dull annoyance and I can't help but to feel the same. I don't think the pop cultural references were funny. The song was well placed and showed how Discord tortures Cadence and Twilight, but it didn't have actual entertainment value for me. It didn't sound good and I have to admit it got a little disturbing by the end. The return of Brad didn't bother me. I think it's a nice nod to continuity, but I wouldn't mind if they would forget about him in later episodes. What I think is interesting here is that there is a Pegasus crystal pony. I thought they were all art ponies. I hope when we return to the Crystal Empire in a later episode, we'll see if it was an animation error or not. I also would like to point out that Twilight's dialogue is horrible. From no shit dialogue, it goes to stupid superfluous things that no one would ever say, like you're the best friends a pony could ever have. They didn't save your life, they haven't even done anything yet. What gives? I feel sorry for Tara Strong, she has absolutely nothing to work with here, and that's true for the entire season so far. A lot of people seem to be bothered by the fact that Pinky is so distracted by a red balloon. I think it's an okay joke, my only problem with it is that it got her out of the episode. In the end, Theresa Crowd gets a 2 out of 4.